Brace yourself for sheer epicness, because today I'm going to be revealing the Tommy Pokemon figure loss of eBay. Without further ado, without further procrastination, without further delay, let's allow the search to commence. Once you're in eBay, simply type in Tommy Pokemon figure loss. And then click search. This will prompt the listings. You can modify the search criterion via time newly listed. This will list the newly listed Pokemon figure loss. Alrighty, so off the get-go, as you can unequivocally see, we have a myriad of Tommy Pokemon figure loss. Are any, are any of these loss enticing? Do any of these loss pique my interest? Do any of these loss tickle my fancy? Let's find out. We have a lot of this generation Pokemon. Are these Pokemon from the this generation eye candy? Do they appease me? Do they warrant hefty, staggering, exorbitant premium prices? That's contingent upon your own personal interests. Personally, I don't think that the slot is meritorious. I can't vindicate paying $2 for fifth generation Pokemon. You have to succumb to a $30 price point or $29.98 price point in order to procure these figurines. That's too much money to lay out for 15 Pokemon, especially when a preponderance of them are from the fifth generation. Moving on, we have another lot of original 1990s Pokemon. Are these the Tommy figurines? They look akin to the Tommy Pokemon figurines. However, there are subtleties between these figurines and the Tommy Pokemon figurines. Are they bootleg Pokemon figurines? I do not know that is an enigma. For close to $80, I can't justify buying this lot. I'd be paying significantly over two dollars per figurine which is an abysmal deal considering some of them have broken bis so I cannot recommend nor advocate buying the aforementioned lot of 28 figurines there's another lot here it's comprised of 27 figurines as you can see by their aesthetics by their details by their hues by their textures by their shadings these are Undoubtedly, the Tommy Pokemon figurines. They're marred with scuffs and scratches. Even though they've succumbed to minor damage, they're still a bit ravaged. So, I can't justify buying these figurines either. We have another lot here, comprised of the mini Pokemon figures. These figurines are not too shabby. I love their aesthetics. I love their whimsical appearances. However, I don't love their price point. They're hollow inside. They're not as exquisite. They're not as robust as a 1.5 to 2 inch Tommy Pokemon figurines. The main deterrent for buying this lot is their hollowness. I'm not paying $58 for hollow figurines. We have a lot of 44 Tommy figurines. This lot is not a ripoff. The market will determine its value. The current the current bid is um, close to $39. If you can procure these figurines for under $40, then you're golden. Some of them have disfigured appearances due to 
succumbing to their wounds due to succumbing to damage over time. Irrespective of that, they still have tremendous merit. You could always paint over their defects. However, if you choose not to, then you may be disappointed. Some of them have paint rub, others have scuffs, others have scratches, others have dings, others have dents. They look like they were battered. But the pricing is not bad at the moment. So, you may want to take heed of buying a similar lot, such as this one. This is also comprised of the rare, covetable, scarce Pokemon Tommy figurines or the Tommy Pokemon figures. These seem to be in better condition. Are they in pristine condition? Are they in mint condition? Are they in scased? Probably not. However, they still have tremendous merit. They're meritorious figurines. They're intricate. They're state of the art. They're high quality figures. They stand 1.5 to 2 inches tall. They resemble their anime counterparts. Their appearances emulate their anime counterparts. They also command high premium prices on the second hand market and they tend to maintain their second hand market value over time. If anything, they're going to appreciate rather than depreciate unless 3D printers become mainstream, in which case you'd be able to print these figures out from your own living room. But I doubt that will transpire anytime soon. In the short haul, they'll likely appreciate in centuries from now, they may possibly depreciate. You even have the red Gyarados. This lot is definitely enticing. I would take heed of buying this lot. Especially considering that their appearances emulate their anime counterparts down to the nitty gritty details. This lot is just stupendous. You have more Tommy Pokemon figure loss. I'm just going to peruse eBay real briefly. And then I need to take a break. Some loss consolidate.